I don't want to get your guys' hopes up, but we might be entering quite possibly the greatest era of Pokemon cards that we've ever had. Now, this is some news. There's a little bit older news that I haven't covered, and then there's some brand new news. We're going to start with the brand new news first. We're just going to jump into how Scarlet and Violet could go down as the greatest era ever. I know that might be controversial, but let's just jump into it. So this is from Poke Beach. Uh, they're a news outlet. If you guys aren't familiar, they cover all the Pokemon card news. So this article is props to them. But uh, we're confirming that uh, the Japanese set Terrestrial Festival is coming in December 6th and that it is an EV evolution set. Now, the theory is, which would make sense, is that these are the, the Terrestrial, the Terra Pokemon, you know, if you've ever seen, you can see them here, like, uh, I think this is, you know, for, obviously from the games, but with the crowns on them, you know, like that Greninja card, with the crown that's over $200 now. Yeah, like that. So it is quite possible that we are looking at an Evolving Skies 2.0 version 2, whatever you want to call it. Another Evolving Skies Evolution absolute madness that we are going to be getting, which is absolutely insane. Okay, so, and if that wasn't good enough, there's some older news that that further uh, compiles on this. So, we're also supposed to be getting a special dragon set. We don't know anything about that. Uh, that was, you know, leaked before, but... That's not even what has me excited, although the dragon set could be epic, right? So, possible Evolving Skies 2.0, but this is the big kicker for me personally as to why the end of 2024 and the beginning of 2025 could be absolutely the golden age. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so... Besides the, uh, you know, we just talked about the Terrestrial Festival that they had trademarked. They trademarked this. The Glory of Team Rocket. Now, I'm trying my best to not get my hopes up for this. But, you know, they talk about the Terrestrial Festival, which we already touched on. Which, now we know what it is, because this is a little bit of an older article. Insane, right? Well, we haven't seen Team Rocket in a while. And... Obviously, for me, um, and some of the older people in the in the space, that brings a lot of nostalgia because of you know these Team Rocket sets and Team Rocket Returns, as you guys can see here, brought us some of our favorite cards of all time. Right. So obviously, take a look. Just take a look at. So I like the style and the artwork. Oh, I cannot wait! I cannot wait for a full art, new new art styles of these. You got the Dark Charizard, the Dark Blastoise, the Dark Raichu, which is the first secret rare. 83 out of 82 was the first one they ever did. That's pretty cool. Look at the Feraligator, the Typhlosion, even Porygon's looking cool. I mean, like, all the way around, right? Absolutely. Just, the, like, look at this. Even this Electrode, like, just, it's, this dark art style is just, it's too good. I'm obsessed. So, um... Yeah, it's looking like we're going to be set up absolutely amazing here. Now, I want to talk about what that means for the collecting and investing space. So, for me personally, I am saving. I'm going to, I'm like, I'm cut off for a while, right? And I'm saving all for these sets, mainly for the Team Rocket set. But you never know with the Evolving Skies 2.0 potential. Like, hmm. So, um, start saving your guys' dollars for reals because this is shaping up to be... So, the um, if we look at what we have currently from Scarlet and Violet, right? The... Like, so right now it kind of is like Paldea is like one of the more top sets and like Twilight's doing good. Like all these sets, these sets could be honestly like not trash, but I mean like these could be like the early Sword and Shield sets that like nobody cares about. Like the Vivid Voltage and, you know, even Battle Styles to an extent and like some of those earlier sets. Like, I mean, so think about it this like this way. Say... 
these sets are what they could be, which is an absolutely amazing Team Rocket set in Evolving Skies 2.0. Just that alone. But let's also say that the Dragon set, whatever that turns out to be, say that turns out to be amazing. Like, oh, the potential, those, those are three amazing sets. You, you couple that with 151, right? That's Scarlet and Violet, we have to remember. And... Oh my gosh! I mean, if it hits its potential, which I'm, I'm personally like, I would advise you guys maybe to try to not get your hopes up uh, too high, just because, like, I don't like to get let down by stuff like this. But the potential for these sets has me so excited. I like, I try. I'm trying not to get excited, but I can't help it. Is this could be absolutely amazing, and I could ramble on and just keep talking about this forever but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to come to a conclusion here but and because we don't know we don't know like we don't have pictures we don't have like actual card leaks or anything yet we just know set names and themes so i don't think even if the um let's say even if the the terrestrial one the ev one is not evolving skies 2.0 say it's more like evolving skies 0.5 in a way where it's it's like half as good that's pretty good like right so i don't think it can really be a flop and i don't think they'll i don't think team rocket could be a flop either honestly it, whew. say they're yeah even if they're only as half as good as what i'm hoping that they could be then i think we're set up really well and i think this is an exciting time and yeah like there's like sword and shield was amazing right there's no doubting that but, I mean, it's it, it, the artwork, I think, I still say this, I've said it before and I'll say it again and I'll double down, but I do think that the artwork, the, the quality and type that we are getting, even now in Scarlet and Violet, is better than what we were getting in Sword and Shield. I think the artwork is just so good. How, however you think about the Pokemon that a lot of the artwork is in, you know, is whatever. But I'm just talking about the artwork. So if you keep applying that to these ideas... Scar uh, Scarlet and Violet era could go down as could go down as the best era ever potentially, and that that in itself is exciting. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to talk about um, these awesome potential new sets that we have. These are great leaks. I'm loving when there's news to be talked about and people can get hyped up. I'm saving my money, right? Japanese 151 boxes are cheap. Um. And I want to get some more of those, and I will, but I, other than that, I'm holding off. I'm holding off for these new sets. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys are excited for either of these sets. And, and I didn't really talk too much about the Dragon set, but, I mean, that is, like, limitless. So we'll, we should know more about that soon, but, yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one, and remember, it was never a phase.